It's weird, right? The captain not being here. Goff's dead to me. Anyone who feels differently can join him. Oh, drop the look. I'm the one who stood between him and the gravestone, remember? This might surprise you, but I'm not big on heart-to-hearts, so let's get this over with. You don't have to worry about me and the others. We're with you. As captains go, Koth wasn't a complete hut stain, but you provide a steady paycheck and, and nice toys. And, well, the Alliance is changing things in a big way. We're proud to be a part of it. I'll be honest. I thought you would have stayed with Koth. Blind loyalty is stupid, and I'm a genius. A gravestone can't fly itself. You need a crew. We're here and ready. In the meantime, old man Sean's waiting for you. Good talk. Something on your mind? I need your help with something. Is this a personal matter? No, just don't need to have a committee for this discussion. I passed a portion of that data you secured from Overwatch through an SIS contact of mine. I made a convincing invitation to some prospective allies in the Republic Special Forces. You aren't very trusting of your former masters, are you? Well, a whisper in the right ear often gets you further than shouting at all the wrong ones. The data I gave over was enough to convince Havoc Squad to take leave of their official duties. I have it on good authority they're conducting an unscheduled operation on Zakul. My contacts set up a rendezvous, but it's up to you to sell them on this alliance. Wouldn't they be more receptive to one of their own? Havoc starting their own little war out here is basically treason. I'm a spy. If anything, they'll be even less likely to trust me than you. Anti-material rifle trained on your position in an unrestricted firing angle for at least a hundred meters. That's either really good or really bad, depending on your reasons for being here. That's how you greet the people looking to help you. Under the circumstances, I'm taking precautions. They're alone, sir. No sign of transmissions. Stand down, Havoc. It wasn't all that long ago that I'd have given up my pension to take that shot, but I guess it's not just the spies making compromises these days. Don't look at me. I was never here. Major Jorgen, Havoc Squad. You were on the Dark Council. I have my sights set quite higher now. The audacity of your ambition never ceases to entertain me. I'm tired of seeing Arkin stomp all over the galaxy. You want to finally start giving as good as you're getting? I've got enough that can use your help. What do you need? Your landing didn't go unnoticed. Hostiles! Clear! Clear! That won't be the last of them. Dengrel, Zaven split north. Abbott, Torg, south. Canner, take Theron, fastest route back to the camp. We'll regroup there. You, with me, we're covering the retreat. I believe you've mistaken what subordinates are for. I don't view leadership as a privilege, Sith. The Sky Troopers have numbers and mobility. Losing them's gonna take misdirection. I need a good vantage. Here. No sign of pursuit. 
Watch my six while I cover the retreat. This new emperor, you've met him? I have. What's your assessment? Valkorion believed he could start something new and different here. But in the end, he only taught his heirs to be every bit the Sith he was. Or perhaps it is merely the nature of a son to seek to surpass his father. left in this galaxy. The Republic I signed up to protect doesn't exist anymore. We gave the reins over to people who don't care how we win. Just as long as we do, Suresh is all but a dictator now. And that was enough for you to walk away from everything you swore to protect? I'll fight for the Republic until the day I die. I won't fight for a political agenda. Suresh and her puppet chancellor have everyone convinced the state of emergency requires executive action. She and her top brass just push through whatever suits their interests. Never thought I'd miss bureaucrats butting into military matters. But what we gained in efficiency, we lost in soul. Those are problems you can worry about after we've dealt with Arkham. True enough. Hold on. Got something. Civvies. And Sky Troopers. They're in trouble. They can keep the droids distracted while we withdraw. Not happening. They're our problem now. You... You saved us. Everyone all right? Anyone injured? No, no, I don't think so. Thank you. The Sky Troopers, they just came from nowhere. We done nothing. We're no threat to the Spire, but the droids drove us from our homes and started burning everything. Please, stop them like you did for us. There are others out there. Our families and friends, our homes. There'll be nothing left. You're pushing our luck, Jorgen. This isn't why we're here. I don't know your reason for coming here, but this is mine. I'm gonna help. You can either pitch in or try to find your way back to camp without me. Fine. We'll rescue everyone we can. Meet us afterwards and we'll see about getting you out of here. Go! Just get out of here! This is your fault! You did this to us! Don't raise your hand to me again. Don't make it worse. Sky Troopers are probably searching for us. They wanted for nothing before my reign ended. Look on them now. I believe you wanted to help, but we were doomed the moment you came here. The Emperor will want to make an example of your resistance. He'll likely claim we conspired with you as an excuse to crack down harder. Why are you being targeted by Arkham? Because we doubt. Tell them the reason. I asked for proof of how our immortal Emperor could ever die. I searched the old ways for guidance. I wondered why we continue to seek revenge on so many outlanders for the actions of one. I sought justice for those condemned to exile. We all had questions and the new Emperor does not suffer them. You may have given him an excuse to silence us for good. We have a camp. I can offer you protection. They'll only draw attention to us. You're risking the mission, and our lives. My mission, my squad, my decision. Okay. We'll trust you. Kenner, we're on our way back. We've got civvies in tow. A lot of them. Be on the lookout. Hope you're up for some trailblazing. We'll need a clearer path for a group this large. Let's go! Welcome back, sir. The refugees have been trickling in. We're setting them up where we can. 
but I'm concerned about supplies. This is a lot of mouths to feed. Shelter and protection will have to do for now. We'll resume the mission tomorrow, after the refugees have settled in. Get some shut-eye. Understood, sir. You heard him. Get this camp in order and tuck in. This alliance may be your show to run, but those soldiers, they're my responsibility. We clear? I'm growing tired of this insolence. Get used to it, Sith. I doubt we'll be seeing eye to eye. I'll see you in the morning. 0700. You saved a lot of lives today. Will he be joining us? In an advisory capacity. Pashner knows more about Zakul than all of us put together. What you did yesterday? I wouldn't have thought it possible. I want to help you do more. A source of mine in the SIS entrusted Havoc with an interesting piece of intelligence not too long ago. I'm guessing we have Theron to thank for that. But it's the reason we're all here. No comment. The data identified a planetary transmitter within a Zakul night outpost. Our mission is to plant a wiretap on that equipment. And then their secrets will be laid bare. We get a direct line on their communications. Havoc can start hitting high-value targets all across the Spire. And evade retaliation. We'd be ghosts. Deadly. Heavily armed. Ghosts. This sounds like something Havoc Squad could have accomplished already. Deploying the wiretap without it being discovered will either take a month of prep, or a really big distraction. If you're willing to commit the resources, we can move on this immediately. Then it's decided. Send word to Odessan. We're going on the offensive. You're really going to attack Arkan's forces? Just enough to get their attention. We don't have the forces for a real invasion yet. Your people can handle the diversion. I want you along for the strike on the transmitter. We're gonna need every heavy hitter we can get, and you more than qualify. Let's move out. A few sentries on the exterior, nothing out of the ordinary. Give the order when ready. Begin the attack. Copy. Let's go! I think that's the best we're gonna get. Havoc, keep us covered and watch for reinforcements. We're going in. Copy, Major. Flash! The good news? It works. And the bad. Uh, they know we're here. Reinforcements are already inbound. We've got incoming. Brace for a fight, Havoc.
Can that garbage? Had to be droids. About damn time. I thought we might not make it. I'm glad to be wrong. Did you follow us? When we heard your call, we knew what had to be done. We've spent our entire lives being protected by our droids, by you. We want to stand for ourselves. Won't get any argument from me. Let's get back to camp, huh? We took a beating, but the mission was a success. And we discovered an unexpected ally. I'd call that progress. Dress it up however you like, Theron. This was a disaster that nearly cost us everything. He's right. We took too many unnecessary risks. It's a bigger victory for Pashna and his people than us. Finding the will to fight back, proving they could win, or conceding his own defeat in these swamps. How do you mean? Every defiant soul Arkin drives out here, we can turn into a weapon against him. I want to embed havoc with the rebels. Train them to be a proper fighting force. Build an army right under his nose. Whip them into shape. I'll work on getting them equipment. If we teach them right, you won't have to. Interesting group you've got here. Takes all kinds, I guess. We share a common enemy and desire. That's enough. Desperation makes for strange bedfellows. Fun as this is, I need to get back to Havoc. I've requisitioned passable training gear to issue to the Rebels. At least until they can keep from shooting their own toes off. They're going to do this whether we help or not. Teaching them how to is what's best for them and us. A more rigorous analysis would suggest the cost-benefit is more strictly in their favor. If we succeed at fostering a rebellion on Zakul, it may hamper Arkhan long enough for the rest of the galaxy to strike back. It is not my understanding of the situation that needs to be corrected. Pushy droid you've got. You don't want to call her that. What? Pushy? Droid. The extent of my being is beyond your comprehension. Yeah, clearly. If you need me, you know where to look. I require your attention. Do not tarry. Good. You're here. Astute observation, Agent Sean. It is a wonder the SIS could get by without your deductive reasoning. You're a droid that's gotten too big for her own bolts. How's that for an astute observation? Five minutes. Can we please go five minutes without you two at each other's throats? Setting the clock. Three, two, one. Why do I feel like you're encouraging more than helping? Scorpio, show the commander what you found. Please? My analysis of enemy communications obtained by Havoc Squad revealed something interesting. Hidden inside a mundane signal, I discovered an encrypted transmissions codenamed the Gemini Frequency. They are broadcast from the throne to every vessel in the Eternal Fleet. The Spire schematics provided by Kaleo 
Confirm this. It's how Arkin commands his warships. This is the break we've been waiting for. A direct line to the enemy fleet. Start a plan of attack. It's Arkin's turn to be on the defensive. 